This report includes graphic content. Viewer discretion is advised. Her expression says it all, searing, excruciating pain. Nurses in the Shifa Hospital's burn unit are changing Sabah Abu Halima's dressings, a lengthy, delicate process. The first days it was very bad odor, and this area very deep. Tendon bone was, uh, you can show it nowadays, is uh, bitter than the previous time. Sabah received these burns when an Israeli round slammed into her home in Beit Lahian, northern Gaza, a round that shows all the signs of containing white phosphorus, a chemical that can burn flesh to the bone. It completely burned the children, recalls Sabah. From head to toe, the house was in flames. Her husband and four of her children died in the attack. The doctor who treated Sabah was puzzled when he went back to check her burns. When I opened, I saw the smoke, smoke coming from the wound, like cigarette smoke, white. Sabah's home is on the edge of Beit Lahia, not a crowded neighborhood, houses separated by gardens. Militants had fired rockets at Israel from here, and Israeli forces encamped down the street. The damage caused by Israeli shelling is evident inside the house, and there are clear signs that something strange was used. More than two weeks ago, shells hit the Abu Halima house, and since that time you can still find scattered around the house these strange blobs of black material that smoke if you move them, break into flames, and have a very strong and unpleasant smell. Amnesty International's team in Gaza is investigating Israel's use of white phosphorus. Amnesty has no doubt Israel used and misused it in Gaza. Now, this is a legal weapon, but it's being used in, a, in an illegal fashion. White phosphorus is illegal, and, and the aim of white phosphorus to, is to provide instant, instant smoke for soldiers on the battlefield. Um, you know, it, they, they'll, they'll aim to put the white phosphorus in such a place where it, where it screens their movement and blinds enemy observation. That is the purpose of it. In 1995, Israel ratified an international convention on inhumane weapons, but it did not sign a protocol that addressed the use of incendiary weapons, including white phosphorus. Bombarding densely populated areas, and much of Gaza is densely populated, with white phosphorus will inevitably harm civilians. Israel initially denied using the weapon, then said it was using no illegal weapons. It then admitted to using it, but only legally. And now it's investigating if white phosphorus was indeed misused during the fighting. What I would reject is that we use this weapon or any other weapon uh, uh, as an anti-personnel weapon designed to target innocent civilians. We do not target innocent civilians. The people of Gaza are not our enemy. We were trying to be as surgical as we could be against the Hamas. Clearly not surgical enough for the likes of Sabah Abu Halima. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Gaza City.